is it about you that keeps me coming back? Your boyish charm, hot bud, tons of money. If only I were shallow. There's something deeper bubbling below your surface. It's not hard to imagine why you're out to save the world with science and all your charities. The question is, when will you let someone rescue you? The grief must continue to affect Bruce. I mean, no one ever really... A bank heist! What a scoop! It's Batman and Robin! But why are they wearing those mummy costumes? Well, AJ, blimps aren't the only sights we've been seeing these last few nights. A rash of meteor showers has lit up the skies from coast to coast this week, following the destruction of a giant kryptonite asteroid by our own Dark Knight. Today, NASA officials who have been monitoring the situation say we may have seen the last of these shooting stars, since most of the kryptonite debris has moved beyond Earth's orbit. Meanwhile, there's been no comment from Batman, who seems to have gone back into seclusion. This morning... This is Vicki Vale at Gotham Now. The notorious mad scientist T.O. Morrow is reportedly at large in Gotham, based on an anonymous phone call placed to the GCPD. Commissioner Gordon declined to comment, but sources hinted that the caller was the Joker, claiming that Morrow had hijacked his property. Crank call or call for help. More as it comes on Gotham Now. Well, Gotham, it appears I'm safe. For now. I've just been rescued by Batman. He saved me from what felt like certain death at the hands of snipers, all working for the Joker. How did the Joker's crew get their hands on sniper rifles in a maximum security prison? That, Gotham, is a question I intend to put to Professor Strange if I ever get out of here. I have to say that I have been shocked at the conditions on the ground in this so-called prison facility. So far tonight, I have witnessed armed gang members running wild, murder and mutilation. This... This is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. After handing me something like this? I'd say you got one for life. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. <sighs> what this could do for the city? My career? Bruce, it's Vicky. I missed you at the gala last night. Look, I know we're technically not a thing, but standing me up last minute is not cool. For a philanthropist, you're kind of a jerk sometimes. Police have no suspects, and the perpetrator's motives remain unclear. With me now is Oswald Cobblepot, owner of the Iceberg Lounge and employer of the victims. Mr. Cobblepot, you were at the scene of the bombing. Would you mind telling us what you saw?